In this video, we'll be using the Club American Pie, the Tetalus Razor, and we'll also be doing some giveaway announcements. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back to another video. I'm your CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and as mentioned before, today we're going to be using American Pie by the club. That is Ariana and Evans slash Shaving Shop Club and this was sent to me by uh, Sneaky Pete of the club and he has made about a hundred of these and he has given away about 50 so far. He's been giving them away in the club VIP group and the Lather and Blade group just popping them in people's orders from time to time. Very generous of Pete to be giving away 100 of these. And I hope he'll actually, when he's finished giving away, put this one up for sale because it is a beautiful scent. Uh, let me read you the notes because I don't have them listed because this is not a soap that's for sale. It's red apple, green apple, brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, sound, sandalwood, and cedar. And it is a beautiful scent. I absolutely love the scent. Scent strength on it is right at medium. I'm not sure the ingredients. I know it's tallow. It's probably Kaizen 2E or at least Kaizen 2. It is nice and firm to the touch and I love what Peter has done with his base to firm it up a little bit. I like that a lot. I got a great lather easily. It wasn't finicky whatsoever and I'm really looking forward to using this because this smells great. I absolutely love it and hats off to Pete for giving away a hundred of these soaps. I think that's just terrific and uh, he, he's given back and in fact I'll mention a uh, the story I was talking about a friend of ours, uh, Kim Gray, and my mother's been going through chemo. And I said, yeah, Kim's been going through chemo also. And he said, hey, I'm going to send you a Vita set for her. He doesn't even know Kim Gray. Just sent a full set to her. It's just, you know, Peter does things like this that oftentimes people don't know about. And uh, it really, I don't know, I'm thankful for it. So thank you, Pete, for your generosity. I really appreciate it. The razor for today is the Tedalus uh, razor and in it I have a feather guard blade. I don't know if you can see those ridges on the feather guard. That's what they say makes it a little less aggressive. I don't know if it really is in fact, uh, but we're going to use it today. This razor was sent to me by the folks at Tedalus for evaluation. Very expensive razor, about three over 300 bucks. It's made of, uh, the actual razor portion is made of 17 4 pH stainless steel. It's CNC machine. The scales are anodized. I had a good shave with it the first time and we hope to have another good shave with it today. Okay, let's uh, miss the face and get going. So we don't have a super long video. We have a little under 24 hours growth today because I'm shaving a little bit early and everything that I'm uh, using today, except for the soap, which isn't for sale, will be uh, linked below for your convenience. And we're gonna be using the Ariane and Evans brush today with our Captain's Choice bowl. And we have a nice lather already whipped up with our uh, Club American Pie. This just smells great. If you like, it's sort of gourmandy, I would say, but man, it smells good. At least it does to me. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I like this scent a lot. Very nice. And I really appreciate that Pete has just taken the time to give back. You know, he's had some success and he's given back. And that's what he told me when I, when I asked him if he ever planned to sell this and I'm blooping all over the place because I got a lot of hydration in this lather. He said he wasn't sure whether he's going to put this one up for sale, but he did make a hundred and you know, there's been a lot of contests for giveaways and, and just, uh, it's just his way of giving back. And again, Pete does things at times that people don't know about. Uh, and also people like the razor company do as well. Very generous. I know Jason has stepped in and, you know, helped lift some spirits also in a, in a similar way. And I really appreciate that sort of thing. Folks just reaching out. Again, he doesn't even know Kim Gray and, you know, he he sent a, a set of Vita just out of the kindness of his heart. And uh, I think that's fantastic. I didn't ask him to do it. He's just like, hey, I'm going to put a set, you know, I'm going to put a set for her and yours and you can ship it to her. And I think that's just fantastic. So thank you again, Pete. That really does mean a lot. Okay, let's, uh, let's get going today with our Tedalus once we get our hands dry here. Definitely need hands dry and let's hopefully have a great shave today. And let's talk about giveaways while we're making the first few strokes. Very nice, nice and smooth. Very nice indeed. Um, the winner for the Shannon's Indigo Oud, which I put up for giveaway last week, the random generator picked and I'll put it on the screen for you right now, is Glenn Sherman. 
So Glenn, send me your information to CDB at imcdb.com. Email me your address and I'll get that out to you. Congratulations. And in a few moments, I will announce another giveaway for this week. So please stay tuned for that, man. Nice razor here on this fresh guard blade. I don't know if the guard blade is less efficient, but that thing is cutting like butter. It's a brand new blade. Um, like I said, the feather guard has those ridges on there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not sure how that makes it any less <laughs> threatening, uh, but they say it is. So, you know, we'll take, we'll take feathers word for it, but uh, it's an effective cutting blade. I only have one pack of these. I just wanted to try them one time and I never ever use them. So I figured today let's use them. Why not? They're sitting around. They never get any use. Let's use them. It was about to bloop there. Great quality soap here, the Kaizen 2 or Kaizen 2E. I'm not sure which he made this particular soap in, but it's fantastic stuff. And again, this one, I'm not sure if it will ever go on sale, but I hope it does because the scent is fantastic and I'm really digging it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, man. And the Tetalus here, as far as Chevette's go, it's probably the top of the heap, but is a, it is definitely the best looking Chevette that I've ever seen. If you want to see how it loads and all that, because it uses magnets to load, I'm going to pop my other video or my initial video where I talk in more detail about this razor up in one of the corners there. And you can see how it loads. It has a unique sort of magnetic loading system. It's not hard to load uh, whatsoever. It's different from anything else. Um, and I tell you what, the thing that impresses me the most is that jimping on there, which is very, very grippy. I like that a lot. Love the jimping on this razor. It's definitely a good shaver. It is pricey though. There's no getting around that. You know, when you talk about any premium offering, you can't escape talking about the cost. And as I said in my first video, um, for me personally, I'm not in the market for a super high-end Chevette in terms of buying one. So I wouldn't spend um, the, uh, you know, 300 and I think it's $46 or something like that that it commands personally. But if you're one of those people who you're looking for high-end, you know, that's sort of your thing and you want a Chevette that's a super nice looking, it's gonna pop in your shave of the days and so on and so forth. This this might be uh, of interest to you. Some of that cost I was told subsequent to making the first video is they've been working on this razor for years and have made many prototypes. And so all the evolution and all the expense that leads to the production of anything, there's gonna be cost in that. And so definitely an, an expensive beast but it is nice. I mean, there's no getting around the fact that it's nice. Very nice indeed. All right. Very nice. And I think at some point I'm going to uh, send this razor to a few other people and let them try it as well, just to give their thoughts on it, to see how they feel about it. Get some differing opinions on it. All right, very nice. Man, I tell you what, I just got lost in the painting there for a moment. The soap smells great. Again, medium scent strength. It's nothing that's uh, overpowering or anything like that. It is extremely slick. It's one of the best soaps on the market without a, without a doubt. Um, for me and my preference and ease of use, especially with the new more firm is really, really good scent outstanding. Um, it's just fantastic. All right, let's do our second and final pass here. Hope everybody's doing well, by the way, this Monday. Let's talk about the giveaway upcoming. So the next thing that's going to be up for giveaway, let's uh, set this aside for just a minute, is the Holy Call Merchant of Tobacco, which me, you saw me use the other day. I just scooped it with my cosmetic scooper, did not lather on it. It was kindly sent to me by Silky Creamy, so the way to enter this giveaway is just hashtag, and I'll put it on the screen for you. Silky Creamy, and I've rubbed my face with something because I knocked the lather off there. Did I do it with the tub? I don't know. 
I don't know how I <laughs> did that, but anyway. Just hashtag silky creamy to enter the giveaway in about a week. I'll drop the names in the uh, random comment picker, or I'll actually, the way it works is you actually put in the URL of the video and the, the terms, and uh, we will announce a winner about a week. It's generally when I do it. And very nice shaver here. It just feels great. Not a lot of feedback on it. There's some, just a little that I can hear, you probably cannot. But this is a definitely, this is definitely a nice shaver, uh, especially for those who like a long monkey tail. Some people don't like it, some people do. It's more, this shavette looks more like a sort of a custom straight razor, which I think uh, a lot of people who like custom straight razors, like the, the jimping and the long, monkey tail it would be you know their sort of thing um it shaves well i can tell you that and even with this uh, feather guard blade it feels super smooth and efficient and it should be it's an open blade i mean you really can't get any, any more aggressive than an open blade and i remind you if you're first starting out be careful when putting the blade to your face try to keep that angle shallow don't come in too hot hot manning with too much force and don't come in too steep. Those are the times where you're most likely to make a mistake. So keep the angle pretty flat when you come to your face and just go easy. And understand that there is some learning involved with shavette and straight razor shaving. There is a learning curve, but if you take it slow and easy, you will get it over time. You, it will definitely come to you over time and it will start to feel natural. Even today, where I'm only doing, I've got so, I've been so much into DEs recently, I'm only doing like one a week, straight razor, shave that shave, it still feels completely natural because I'm doing it just enough to maintain the uh, muscle memory and it feels great still. Once you get it, I think it's probably a lot like riding a bicycle. You know, you sort of know the feel, you know what's required. That doesn't mean you won't make mistakes. Doesn't mean that at all. But you'll sort of have the hang of it. And I think for me, for me, I think once I did around 100, when I hit that 100 mark with straight razor shaves, I think that's when it really clicked and started to feel really comfortable. After 30, it didn't feel super menacing. After 100, it started to feel really comfortable and natural. So that's sort of my rule of thumb. 30, which that rule of thumb was actually handed down from people like the Stallion to me. After 30, you'll be good. Like it'll feel less menacing. After say 100, it'll feel comfortable. And that was a terrific shave with the Tedalus today. Uh, this is a very well-built well um, shave at expensive, but well-built and certainly attractive. All right. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our alum no stinging. So that was a super, super smooth shave. I really enjoyed it. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. I'm gonna tell you, that was an excellent shave today with the Tedalus uh, Shavette, which is a really, really nice shavette. Again, quite expensive but it certainly gets the job done. It certainly is good looking. Uh, I enjoyed using it today. Don't forget the Holy Call Merchant of Tobacco is up for giveaway. And the way you enter that giveaway is hashtag silky creamy. Don't forget to enter that. And I'm gonna tell you what, I enjoyed the heck out of the American Pie soap uh, from the club. Excellent scent and, and please let me know below. If you would be interested in seeing this go on sale or if you'd be interested in seeing Pete come up with a splash for this, please comment below so Pete will see that because he's sort of on the fence about whether he just wants to give away the, the other 50 soaps and then, you know, let it die or uh, put it up for sale. So if you're interested, you know, let him know below and maybe he will consider putting this up uh, for sale. We used the Ariana and Evans brush. We used our Captain's Cho Choice, excuse me, bowl. And today we're going to finish off with the Big Top by uh, the club, which is a very interesting scent that I cannot describe, but I like it. It's kind of a unique scent, but it's very pleasant to my nose. And man, we're gonna be off to the races.
and having a great Monday. And I hope you folks have great shaves and you have a great Monday as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do your way. And as always, God bless.